Okay, boys and girls, boys and girls, welcome to the You Dizzy Show today. Freaking right, freaking right. Let me turn the light on so you can see me. Hey, hey, how's it going? I'm over here in Jolly Rogerville. <laughs> Couple pots of coffee in me this morning, raring to go. Freaking right. So, what I decided to do today is uh, hang around. Oh wait, I pulled out some, pulled out some drill bits. Got the scanner going, keep tabs on all the bad peoples. But I got a, this plate here that I'm gonna mount the uh, pump onto. And I, uh, not sure if you can see it, but I've marked some some spots where I need some holes. I, I've drilled four holes already, four holes to, to mount that, but I need holes to mount this plate onto the uh, bike here, I mean, uh, the trailer. I'm going to put it right up there. So I'm going to drill the holes in this first, and then I'll put it up there and, you know, mark them in such an order, and then drill through that. So freaking right. Oh, that's a badass trailer hatch. Holy. All right. So off to the drilling we go. All right, so what I've done here is uh, first I found uh, the four bolts that I'm going to use. I'm going to use these. It's got a Phillips head on one side, a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And that's what's going to mount these on. They're nice and new. Uh, I'll change that washer. But they're nice and new. And uh, I got four of them. So what I did was I started by uh, tapping uh, the you know where I wanted the positioning of the thing with the uh, tap and then I use this drill bit to to pilot the first hole and then I use this drill bit here to uh, make it so that the bolt fits in the hole approximately like this and if you look you probably can't see that I put it in between the uh, the the diamonds, you know, so it sits flat on on both of them. I'll show you. I'll show you this one too, like that. That way it sits flat, and that's plenty to bolt through. Oh, where is it now? Right here. That's plenty to bolt through the uh, the tank. So that's awesome. Now I just got three more to do and uh, away we go If you notice, I got the drill on slow because uh, that saves on your drill bits. I learned that from my YouTubers. Freaking right, Road King and his boys. is some serious diamond plate when it takes me that long to drill the uh, pilot holes. Now I'll switch to the other bit.
Now this third center hole here is for the cord. I'm going to have to take that pump apart and run the cord through this center hole here. I think the same size hole should be should be good too. Beautiful. Now I'll flip this over. And uh, take the file to the back side. You want it to sit flat against the, the trailer. You don't want none of those burrs. There's other ways of doing this. I could have hit it with the grinder, but I'm one of those uh, hands-on type of guys. So I got to do it with my hands. So now if you see, I got uh, all the holes in it. I got one there, two down the, the, this is the top, and I flip it over. There's three for the bottom, two for the edges, and the center one's for the uh, cord. And then I have uh, four smaller holes, you probably can't see them four smaller holes for the uh, mounting of the tank so that's that now it's just to mock them out on the uh, on the bike and to put it on so freaking right that's what's up la 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 So I've laid this out and set it up where I want it. I'm going to drill a couple holes and we'll bolt it on. So he says to the guy, hey guy, how are you? He says, good and good for you. Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> I'm not putting the lock washers on or nothing because this is just a, uh, a maca, a zim, zimaka. So that's what we have. If you look, uh, I got the nice bolts. One, two. I got this hole here. I'm going to drill it out. And that's for the wires. 
then I got uh, the bolts holes here for the for the um, pump and then the uh, nice ones at the top so freaking right that looks nice and this right here I don't know if I told you but um, this right here is a special thing the, the tank this is how they used to tell how much fluid was it was in it it had a tube from here to there two elbows and then it had a glass tube so what I did was I got two new elbows some brass elbows and if you look on the end of this I, I soldered it closed so you can't see through okay so now it's closed off right here and now I did that to two of them I'll show you the other one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a clear plastic tube in between with some clamps on it here and on the other one and I'm gonna put probably like uh, some red liquid in it or or something like almost all the way full or something so it'll bounce up and down and people will think there's really you know there's fluid in there and stuff that'll be pretty cool I actually have the other pieces right here see here they are this screws into I believe it's this yeah this screws in like this and then this one screws on there oh, I have to take it apart screws in like that and then this one has the same the same welded or oh, soldered end so you can't see through it and then I'll put this on this like this like that so now you can see it from from that one to that one it's gonna be a little tube freaking right now I'm going to do one more piece over this side because I've got two air compressor um, regulators that for this year I'm just going to hook them on there so you see them. But next year I'm going to put a little air compressor inside the fire tank so I'll have air too. I'll have air, I'll have water, I'll have power. That thing will have its own little, it'll be its own little freaking fire truck. God love it. I've already cut the piece right here to mount on there. So that's the next project. So I'm glad you guys are watching today. You know, hung out. Comment, like, subscribe. Always wear your safety glasses. Uh, I want uh, you guys to go check out one of my friends. He's building this, I'm going to say it right out, a badass four cylinder Briggs. And. He, he, he's making me proud him and his boy Mikey and, and little dirt bike those guys road king you the man all right and it's you and musty one and everybody that's giving me all the incentive to uh, to do all these funny things you know um, haven't had the easiest life you know what I mean so uh, this stuff puts a smile on my face being able to build it and watching you guys gives me the confidence that I can do it so freaking right comment like subscribe check out the links below it, you know get you dizzy swag because the shit's hardcore you know what i mean and peace out